bit of a wobble there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophia's Mummy UK, um, bringing you another review, another palette swatch. Um, but this time it's not of, um, I was going to say a low end, that isn't quite what I mean. What I mean is a drugstore palette. I'm actually bringing you a review on the Steeler palette. Um, and this is the Matte and Metal Eyeshadow palette. So I just want to show you the colours so that you could see what they were like um, and just give you my real first impressions of the product. comes in a beautiful, beautiful gold box which screams absolute quality to me. Um, it, just, it just feels very, very luxurious. Um, so I'm going to put my mirror there because then I can look at my swatches better. So then you've got your palette now this is just amazing um it just feels feels luxurious absolutely luxurious um and basically you have 12 shadows in this i love the steeler packaging always have done so you have your 12 colors inside you obviously have six mattes and six metal colors um so you've got the names on the back now i always think oh, what's the point of putting the names on the back because when you've got the names on the back you don't necessarily know in which order they go do they go as you look or do, they, do, do you see what i mean so anyway the colors that you've got are vintage velvet feathered fringe suede velour bohemian retro sequin smolder sizzle flare um so you've got a beautiful sized massive full-size mirror and it's a good quality mirror as well you can see your full face in there which is ideal for when you are doing your makeup um you know you especially if you're traveling or whatever and you can't take did anybody see that butterfly he's gone and landed in my wardrobe Hello, Mr. Butterfly. Usually signifies a change is coming. He's gone in my wardrobe. I wonder why. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So full size mirror. Um. A very very heavy palette. So it's it it screams absolute quality to me. So okay. So we've got these beautiful mats. Um. That. Are along the top row which are obviously going to be your base colors and highlight colors in matte Matt is such a popular bloke isn't he he really is oh no that one's very crumbly very flaky and powdery and chunky so those are the top row swipe all that off the butterfly has gone in my wardrobe. I'm just very, very aware of him trying my clothes on or trying Steve's clothes on. So if you see a shirt or a dress or anything floating behind me, you know that the butterfly has tried to steal my clothes. So anyway, then we have these transition-y type colours here as well. There's like, um, well, I mean, sort of like, um, I don't know what you call that, sort of a beigey the only problem is the colours are very very flaky I think it could be because I'm pressing too hard so you've got like a lovely terracotta lovely sort of plum mauvey colour and then this sort of beigey taupe colour which is really pretty they are very very powdery So those are all the mats. I mean, they're lovely. Certainly get um, do all your base and everything out of them. So wipe that all off, and we'll do do the metals next. So there we have this beautiful sort of silvery, um, sort of taupey colour. Then we've got this beautiful sort of bronzy colour. Then it's like lovely gold. which are very, very pretty. Do you know, I, part of me feels really disappointed because I've been swatching the new Freedom 
foils this morning and these are just nothing in compared to what they are and this this is high end and they're you know their drugstore and it's like it doesn't feel to be any difference does that do you know what I mean I don't I don't want to come across as being negative at all because that isn't what I want to do but I'm just really disappointed um, I thought that these would be a lot more quality then we have this beautiful like gunmetal dark gunmetal grey then like this um, coppery plum and then this sort of chocolate now they are a lot they look a lot more pigmented to me a lot more pigmented it could be that just that I'm doing it on my hand and it doesn't look right again you see very powdery a lot of fallout I don't mind um, providing that the results are there very very pretty colours aren't they very pretty colours okay now this palette retails out in the states it retails out at $49 and I think on cult beauty or wherever I think it's £49 for this palette which is a lot of money um, I actually won this in a giveaway from quite a quite a big makeup artist I will link her channel down below she does quite a few of the Hollywood starlets um, so I mean I've got no doubt in my head that this is a genuine product it's you can just tell it is genuine it's I just find it a little bit a bit lacklustre but there you go anyway thank you very much thank you to her because I mean obviously you know to get a product like this through the post amazing um and yes I do wear it yes I do enjoy wearing it but it's not a palette that I reach for all the time it's not a go-to palette in any way whatsoever um it's one of the palettes that you think yeah, I have to be in the mood for that definitely have to be in the mood to use that so anyway thank you very much for watching my video I hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. I'm starting to sound like a broken record because I say it at the end of every single video. Um, but yes, please subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Take care for now. Bye-bye.